Buying a vehicle is a pretty big decision. At Camelback Volkswagen, there is a difference. It's not the Volkswagen, it's not the price. The difference is our commitment to you. It starts with our 24-hour test drive, five-day no-hassle return policy, so you get the right Volkswagen for you. At Camelback Volkswagen, the difference is nitrogen-filled tires, door guards, even service loaners for life. We're here for you even after the sale, and if you ever need anything, contact me directly. Experience the difference, the Camelback Volkswagen difference. Hi, we are sitting here today with Michael Holtz, and he is the 2010 Compete Sports Media Athlete of the Year. And I, the first thing I want to say to you is congratulations. Thank you so much. Absolutely. How does it feel? Um, it's It feels great. I mean, to represent our community um, in this award has been such an exciting experience, and it's just you know, giving me more leverage to just, you know, show our community, um, you know, positive stories within the sports community. So, has obviously sports has helped shape your life. Uh, you were a competitive swimmer. Uh, it got you a scholarship to college, and now you're utilizing your swimming. Uh, I was reading about you, and you just did a, a, a swim off Malibu, right? And you raised over $140,000 for Cal Equality California? Yeah, just over $150,000, oh. yep. Um, it, it was great. I've kind of taken, you know, my passion for sports and my passion for the community and put them together. And I've done inaugural events like this, um, one in New York and one in California. And, you know, it's been a really unique experience because they've been for two different organizations, two different visions, um, and they've both exceeded their fundraising goals. And, you know, it's had the ability to engage all different types of people um, into the organization gay, straight, young, old, Wonderful. black, white, just everybody. So it's a true, you've been able to have a true celebration of diversity, raise money for two uh, LGBT uh, organizations, mm -hmm. one was Stonewall and then Equality California. What's next? I mean, and now you're, you have the crown of the 2010 <laughs> Athlete of the Year. I mean, what does 2011 look like for you? You know, I'm just taking day by day. I'm looking to expand on the Swim for Equality for Equality California. And, you know, there are a lot of different projects and initiatives that I'm working on um, for 2011. And I just, you know, I take day by day and I just, you know, wake up every day, you know, wanting to kind of always do what I love doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, part of that is, you know, making a positive difference on the community. But it's also, you know, putting, you know, my passions like sports and dealing with people and, you know, getting the messaging out there. Um, Certainly. That's just, you know, my day to day. So here's the question, because obviously uh, you're a celebrated uh, athlete who happens to be gay. You're celebrated within the LGBT community. You're utilizing your passion uh, and your love for sports to raise money for great causes that help do positive things for the gay and lesbian community. How, here, here, how do we get to the next step? How do we start having positive dialogue with major league sports franchises? How do we make being gay okay uh, on a professional level? How do, how do we broach that subject? Well, the only thing, because I do work for a very political sure. driven organization where, you know, you have marriage equality, you have don't ask, don't tell, you have these, you know, big things that are being passed through the legislature, but sports really isn't that way. The only way that we're going to break this, this mold the only way that we're going to break this barrier is to talk about it. Um, you know, getting people to be comfortable with themselves, talking about it. You know, it's not the people in L.A. and in New York and Miami, but it's people in Mobile, Alabama. It's these kids mm -hmm. and the youth that are growing up, and they, they really need to be exposed to these stories that it's okay to be gay. It's okay to be um, yourself and be who you are. And, you know, you can also love what you're doing while you're doing it. Absolutely. We are a lot of things, and we couldn't agree with you more. It is definitely okay to be gay. And you are way more than being okay with this 2010 Athlete of the Year <laughs> Award. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with us, and we wish you the best of luck and look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you so much.